Let's talk about Friedrich Ataxia. So this is the most common hereditary ataxia and it presents in an autosomal recessive pattern. And it is a neurodegenerative disease affecting the cerebellum and its connections. Most commonly you'll see it happen uh, present in adolescence and it's caused by a expanded trinucleotide repeat of GAA in the frataxin gene on chromosome 9q13. Most of the clinical characteristics happen in the brain, heart, and pancreas because frataxin is highly expressed in these organs. So the neurologic features Almost all patients will have progressive ataxia in all four limbs, as well as ataxic gait. They'll have a wide-based gait. Uh, most, about 80 or 90 percent of patients, will have decreased or absent deep tendon reflexes. And there will be more weakness in the lower extremities, the feet and the legs, than the upper extremities. Most patients will also have decreased proprioception and vibration since this disease also affects the dorsal columns. If nerve conduction testing is done, it'll sense some axonal sensory neuropathy. You can also see some bone abnormalities such as scoliosis, hammer toes, and pes cavus or high arched feet. And due to the cerebellar dysfunction, there can be eye movement abnormalities as well, such as nystagmus and difficulty with saccades. Since frataxin is highly expressed in the heart as well, there can be cardiomyopathy. Actually, most patients will have cardiomyopathy. And this results in a major cause of death being congestive heart failure and arrhythmia. A minority of patients will also have diabetes mellitus, since frataxin is also highly expressed in the pancreas. So what will you see on imaging? So the MRI brain and spine will show atrophy of the medulla and spinal cord. Uh, cerebellar atrophy is less commonly seen except for later in the disease. So let's say someone, an adolescent, comes in with ataxia. What will a workup consist of? So first we start with the MRI brain and spine to detect any other causes. A uh, vitamin E level can also be sent since uh, low vitamin E can cause a mimicker of Friedrich ataxia. But otherwise, if someone in the right age range comes in and they have ataxia, a uh, frataxin genetic uh, testing is done and this will clinch the diagnosis. So in terms of treatment, there is no specific medication that will treat Friedrich ataxia, uh, but they will need a referral to physical therapy, occupational therapy, and also a swallow evaluation. They'll need to see cardiology and most likely cardiology will do an EKG and possibly yearly echoes or cardiac MRIs. They'll need to be screened for scoliosis and potentially referred to orthopedics. Uh, you'll need to screen them for diabetes, and they'll usually have a baseline ophthalmology and audiology evaluation, as this disease can also affect hearing and vision. The prognosis is not great, so many patients become wheelchair bound and most patients actually die by their 30s with the major cause of death being the cardiac dysfunction.